How's it going, dude? So, welcome back to some more MGS3. Sorry for taking a break for a while, but I was going through some stuff that I will not get into in this video, or ever. But I'm here doing a full stealth for another game, because this is an old classic for me, and the remake's coming out soon. We just defeated the pain, and I need a medic, speaking of pain. Snake, you caught a Tsuchinoko. What? Is it true, Snake? Yeah. Way to go, my man! You really are the boss's apprentice. Yes, it looks like sending you in was worth it after all. Hurry up and finish your mission and then bring it back to us. Under no circumstances are you to eat it, is that clear? They really like that I caught this thing. It's meant to be some sort of mythical snake in Japan, but completing the game with this captured alive means I get infinite ammo. Well, I really just want the achievement. May as well get rid of this rotting food. <laughs> Don't eat it, you'll get food poisoning. Slipped on the OK button. Shit. Oh, I did it again. Rotten. Now I need to cure myself. Hold on, hold on. Nope. 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 Ah, there we go. <laughs> Much better. Change my duds. I forgot why I even put the snow camouflage on in the first place. Change my face camo too. Ah, well, that's good. Ah, zombie. <laughs> yes. I'm just a box walking around in some caves now. I've got some camouflage on, but who cares? Ah, cutscene. Flying platforms in the 1960s. Oh, Kojima, you've thought of everything. I'm just restocking my food supply by killing these hopeless animals. <laughs> I feel so bad killing them, but it's part of the game. <laughs> See, snakes just kicking the shit out of other snakes now, so this is just animal cruelty at this point. <laughs> ah, now the next area is where the croc cap comes in. In fact, it's the only time it's useful, really. <laughs> I see you've caught a Thai Cobra. The Thai Cobra is a large venomous snake that carries an extremely potent neurotoxin. Be careful not to get bitten. If you do get bitten, go into the survival viewer right away and use Cure to give yourself a serum injection. The Thai Cobra originally comes from Indochina, Thailand, and Southern China. The ones in that area were probably imported as pets and research subjects before they escaped and turned feral. Not as food. Come again? They weren't imported as food. They're not for eating. So they don't taste good then? That's not my point. It's not a matter of whether they taste good or not. People don't raise snakes for food, period. Okay. So you're saying they might be good to eat, right? Only one way to find out. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about the crocodile cap, but never mind. Let's go! This part's actually quite easy to stealth through, thanks to the crocodile cap. But what does Paramedic think? I'm just going to keep bugging her all the way through the mission. Snake, have you ever seen the War of the Worlds? No. These flying saucers from Mars arrive on Earth disguised as meteorites. The saucers use their heat rays to attack the nearby towns. And then... Um... Something wrong. Uh, the thing is, I was too scared to watch. I had my eyes shut almost the whole time. Then you haven't seen it. No, it's not that. It's based on a novel by H.G. Wells. You haven't seen it, have you? That does remind me, though. When I was two years old, my father listened to the radio drama version of the story. It was right after dinner on Sunday, and we were relaxing in the living room. They said monsters had come out of a meteorite that landed in New Jersey. It sounded just like a real live news broadcast. My father said he and my older brother actually believed it and started yelling and panicking. My mother supposedly grabbed me from my crib and took me out to the car, still wrapped up in blankets. But then, just as my dad was about to start the car, he realized that it was all just a radio drama. Because on the car's radio, they were playing Bing Crosby tunes. No matter what station he turned to, no one else seemed to be reporting on this big history-making news story. Sounds like something out of the big broadcast. Nobody said a word. 
We all went back to our rooms. My father and brother got off with a scolding from my mother, but I was the one who really suffered. After that incident, every time I acted up, my father and brother would scare me by saying, the Martians are coming. That's terrible. Isn't it, though? So, you haven't seen the movie. I... I saw it. So... so even nuclear weapons wouldn't work against the Martian war machines. Uh-huh. Anyway, Snake, if you conceal yourself like the Martians did, the enemy won't know what hit them. Conceal myself? Maybe not in a meteorite, but if you can hide yourself inside something a little more close at hand... Hmm, close at hand... Something like... a box. Ah, uh, I get it. So, you never saw the movie. I saw it, alright? I think it's clear Snake doesn't give a shit about that stuff. <laughs> Movies and that. We're on a mission. Make sure I put on the right camouflage before I sneak through this area. The face camo is fine. So all we have to do is swim through this water, avoid the uh, searchlights, and then we're home free. Well, to another cutscene, I guess. There might be another face paint around here, but like, fuck, can I find it? <laughs> Gotta catch some breath before I drown to death. <laughs> and stay out of sight, of course. See, you can go like two ways here, but I don't really want to go this way because it just means that I can defeat like a boss early on and I don't really want to do that. I want to go through the boss fight and- Oh my god, the crocodile teeth! Get your hands off me. I'm not going anywhere. Really now? How many times must I tell you? time you resist, your lover will suffer the consequences. Is that clear? Vulcan. Damn you! Hold it right there, traitor. Oh great, it's also lot. We get to see some more gunplay. Let's find out just how lucky you are. Watch closely. Three guns has a single bullet in it. I'm going to pull the trigger six times in a row. Are you ready? <laughs> you can bloody juggle them now. Close up shot of the piss. <laughs> huh. Looks like your luck hasn't run out yet. There's no such thing as luck on the battlefield. 
<laughs> You'd better stay in line from now on. The Cobras will take care of him. <sighs> Has the CIA dog been disposed of yet? The pain is dead. What? Definitely one of yours. I fear Khrushchev may have a hand in this. We have no time to lose. You must eliminate him before the final test. Don't worry. They'll be able to handle it. I'm leaving him to you, the fear. The old man is always sleeping. Is he all right? The end is saving what life he has left in him for battle. Normally, he's dead. But he'll wake up when the time is right. And when he does, it will be the end for the boy. Yeah. Sokolov isn't worth your love. You can entertain me until the rain stops. Volgin just loves torturing this poor woman, but uh, I kind of like it. <laughs> His sadism speaks to me. <laughs> Kuwabara. Kuwabara. Yeah, yeah. Hakuna Matata. Sorrow, is that you? Save the game again just in case I get caught and listen to paramedic being a cinephile. <laughs> Snake, have you ever seen for a fistful of dollars? Nope, never. It's a spaghetti western. Spaghetti Western. It's a Western, but you eat spaghetti while watching it. It's really cool. Especially the main character's stylish gunplay. Gunplay? I saw it in England on the Major's recommendation, but it hasn't come out in the States yet. It's so cool. They'll bring it to America, I'm sure. You have to see it sometime. Sure. Well, after Paramedic distracts me with movies, I'm gonna go ahead and track these guards. And they're whisking away the old man off in the wheelchair. I could have killed him now if I got the weapon from the other area, but I actually want to fight him in the boss fight, so yeah. Try out the binocular trick, and ah, there we go. That's not easy to do, on even on this controller, but ah, I did it. Get this other guard too. Nothing's wrong, just go to sleep. No, 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 no. Oh. There we go, that was lucky. 
now that we've taken care of the guards, I just have to swim around and look for goodies. Thermal goggles being useful as always. Okay, so the only thing of use was a suppressor for the M1911A1. Okay, fair enough. I hope there's no more guards around. Oh, well that's worse than guards. I didn't mean to get bitten by a spider. Fucking hell. Paramedic, help me! Snake, have you been bitten by a venomous animal? Yeah. It looks like the poison is already starting to affect you. Unless you cure it, your life will just keep decreasing. You've got to treat it now. To cure poison, go into Cure in the Survival Viewer and administer a serum injection. Got it. I think we're done with this area, so I'll just move on to the next one. All the guards are asleep, so that's good. Make sure I've got the right camo on, as always. I'll also eat some shit for my stamina. <laughs> I could go for seconds. He was a hungry boy. But I think we're gonna leave that here for now. I'm sorry this was such a shorter video than my previous ones, but you know, I'm doing something new and there's a lot more editing going on. But anyway, I hope you stick around for the next part. See you, dudes.